Hi, I'm Paris, and in my continuing search for the most comfortable mask, today I think I have found the most fashionable masks. These are from Kenny Flowers and pretty reasonably priced, a three pack for $24, so $8 for each mask. That makes them the third lowest priced of all the masks that I've reviewed, and you get high fashion. Well, actually the material they use is the same pattern you'll see on some of their shirts. This mask is from this shirt pattern, and they'll actually sell you the matching set of shirt and mask together. I particularly like this one, though I don't really like the his and hers idea of wearing the exact same shirt. But if you do, they've got you covered. You can have his and her matching shirts, his and her matching masks. Now, this is the second mask that I've tried out that does this with the ear straps. Rather than having an elastic material, one strap basically goes the full length and the other one is sewn in at a certain point. So it sort of estimates about where it would be to fit on your ears. In my case, this one actually fits pretty nicely. It's not coming down off my nose as I speak. Now it's not real tight along here, so it's not, notice it catching my mouth there. It's not doing as much of a filtration job when I'm exhaling because the air, I can feel it actually coming down my neck but at least it's not being aimed right at someone. If I wear it just over the ears, it's real easy to put on and to take off. But if I want to have a snugger fit, then I take these straps and tie them behind. They're not super long, but I should be able to get a small little knot back here. And a little bit tight here. It's still not really snug here, so not the best filtration. Let me take a look through it so I can see how the material is. You can tell by how much you can see through the material, how much filtering it's doing. Inside is a different color material. I see the brightness from the light, but no detail. And looking out the window, yeah, just general light. So it's medium thickness, medium filtration. There doesn't seem to be any opening in the material where I could slide in an additional filter. But let me put it back on here, tie it up, not quite so tight and then try it out with glasses. I have yet to find a mask that's really good for people who wear glasses or who have to wear safety goggles at work that uh, wearing a mask doesn't cause them to get steamed up. All right, glasses fogging test. I'm going to breathe just through my nose. Hey, no fog. Wow. This is the first mask that hasn't fogged up the glasses. Oh, tiny bit there, that's probably because I'm talking. Let me go back to breathing through my nose. I think it has to do with how tightly I've got it pulled across here. If I've got the glasses over the material and it's snug. Pretty good. I assume they're all the same, but let me try the others just to verify that about the glasses. Now this one's looser. Yeah, see that, it's falling off my nose. This. The, I wonder if they give you one a little bigger, small, medium, and large. Let me tie it in the back. Okay, now I'll give it a try. Tiny bit there. But even so, this is so much better than all the other masks. And maybe it's the one that fits you just right that'll be the one that won't fog up. Let me try the third one. This, is, this feels like the medium. I think I've done small and large. This one feels like medium. Okay, glasses test with the third mask. Yeah, with the material right here, I can feel the air going down my face rather than coming up here. Now this is just the second mask I've reviewed that has this tie situation where they sort of give you ear straps, but then you're also supposed to tie it in back. The other one was from a company called Buck Mason. And I like theirs better because they give you really long straps. Now, if you're not going to tie them, I guess it looks weird. <laughs> it's better to have the short ones. But if you're going to actually tie them, it's easier to make the knot with the longer strands than with the shorter ones that I got from the Kenny Flowers mask. Well, I like this one in particular because it seems to fit just about right without having to tie it in the back. But it is something to consider that it does take extra time to put that knot in the back. The Kenny Flower masks are definitely a step up in fashion from the Buck Mason mask that I've reviewed previously, but this is $8, this is $4. They're pretty similar otherwise, but the other feature I like on the Buck Mason masks are these long straps make it so much easier to tie behind your head. 
I'll link below this video to the Kenny Flowers masks and to the other masks that I mentioned in this video if you'd like to find out more about them. Also, at the end of this video, I'll put a playlist of all the masks that I have reviewed so you can see more about each of them in detail. And I have more masks coming. The one I just got notified that's been shipped is a silicone mask. So it's actually a silicone cup kind of shape that you put disposable filters into and it has its own advantages and probably disadvantages too. One thing I'll say about the Kenny Flowers mask and I'll test it out some more though is it is the first mask that hasn't caused the glasses to fog up and I bet that could be important to a lot of folks. I'll see you on the next review.